Hello, welcome back. Today I do a video about a request. Some of you uh, 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 requested that I should do a video about artists or, or vinyls or records uh, uh, that are or, or that give you the, the possibility to start with the uh, electronic avant-garde music. In this video I talk or show you uh, uh, 10 artists on, on 11 albums where I think it is a good point to start with. You can start with everyone. They are not so far out there and this of course makes sense when, when, you, when you begin a journey and those are records I am quite sure that it is a good starting point. First one is an American artist, his name is Huerco S. As an artist, as an and he, he has a project this is, which is called Pendant. Here is one of the releases. There will be a new release in one or two weeks. I am happy to have the vinyl color variant, but there are a lot of uh, opportunities out there to get this beautiful album. This uh, Make Me Know You Sweet it's very rhythmic, very, how can I put it, it's, it's a beautiful, easy journey throughout the realm of, of electronic avant-garde, very soothing and, and, and uh, yet quite interesting, avant-garde-ish, important music. The whole music I show, you go over to Boomcat. I, I put a link down below, but please consider that I make my videos here in Germany and we have uh, now uh, big problems if we do links to uh, sites where we can buy order, or uh, can you buy these editions, we really can get in trouble here in Germany. So I can't put uh, everything into a link and say here you can buy this, here you can buy that because I really can get into trouble uh, right now, which of course is ridiculous. So I have to be careful. I, I, I will put a link down to the Boomcat website where you will find most of these artists and you will find sound examples from those artists if you are interested in how they, how they are. So this is my first recommendation. It's pendant slash huerco s. Make me know you sweet beautiful, beautiful, slightly dark, ambient, rhythmic, electronic music. Next one is one of the more prolific and, and, and uh, artists and he does a lot of soundtracks but his music is very out there. It, it takes you with me, it, it, it takes you on, on, on a journey and, and if you, if you listen to, for example, Immunity from John Hopkins, you know why he makes a lot, a lot of soundtracks. His music cries to, to be used in, in a movie. Fantastic artist, fantastic avant-garde electronic musician. Also from John Hopkins, there will be a new album or even two, I think, in the next couple of weeks. So if you want to start your journey with John Hopkins, if you haven't already, please. This is also, of course, for, for people who knows this stuff and, and we discuss the releases if you like, but uh, uh, some of you probably know John Hopkins or Huerco S or the other artists, but this is in a way a beginner's guide for, for this music. So um, don't think bad of me when I say uh, try him out and you say hey, I know him longer than you, <laughs> which may be the case. But this John Hopkins is really highly, highly recommended, especially his Immunity album. Now for something quite special, a huge release and I like to use the beautiful term here, instant classic. Instant classic from uh, The Caretaker everywhere at the end of time. This is one of the six parts of this fantastic journey through uh, dementia, 
hor hor horrible th th topic, I know, but the music, the music is incredible. You have sound collages and, and it of course goes darker and darker and darker from part to part. You know, it takes Schubert piano concerts and defragments them and, and puts them back together and defragments them again. Unbelievable journey into sound. Fantastic. A fantastic release from the caretaker. Wow, it's really this this is in my opinion a must have. Those things, those uh, vinyls, those records come and go. They already did a repress a couple of weeks ago. I hope they are still out there. If so, try it. It's it's an unbelievable journey. Doesn't matter if you take one, two, three, four, it matters a bit. If you start, start either three, four or five. Six is an absolute highlight, but not without one or two of the other parts. Fantastic. The Caretaker. Unbelievable stuff. Then, also very, very, very beautiful uh, entry point is this album. It's from Suzumi Yokota, who died at very young age, but put out some incredible, beautiful albums. And one of those albums is Acid Mount Fuji. Great electronic, electronica, Japanese influenced music. You know, also this Acid Mount Fuji is there sold after a couple of days then will be repressed 12 15 months later so look out i think there actually is a repress out there very interesting very beautiful very very beautiful album once more acid mount fuji from suzumu Yako yokota i will put the artist's name in the in the video description so you, you won't have many problems to find them. Most of the releases, of course, if they aren't in print at the moment, you will find them over at Discogs, of course. But they sometimes can be quite pricey. Next artist. And from this artist I have put out two records because both series are outstanding and at least one of the parts belongs into every record collection and also again perfect starting point i'm talking about alva noto and those these releases from the rasta noton label the two series are these these unicaf univex uh, uh, parts which are more an electronica glitch clicks and pops music which which are festivals for for the ear you have here a click there okay behind the click it's sound wise it's an unbelievable journey of 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 tremendous electronic music alva noto unicaf fantastic fantastic or if you're more on the ambient side or want to try out ambient music before other other uh, electronic music is the xerox series from, from Alva Noto. Also, once more, highly recommended, incredible, well, not so interesting, well, a, bit, a bit. Fantastic music. There are Xerox, I think, are now four parts. To get one of the first three. I, I think Xerox 3 is my personal favorite. And then an, an, an album, this band, is also a highlight belongs to them to the uh, uh, throbbing gristle nurse with wound cosmos talking about coil very interesting calm spooky beautiful beautiful music the the the, the cover art really represents this music quite well spooky tiny bit out there calm interesting coil presents black light district 
great one. Also a beautiful entry point into the realm of, of, of uh, a throbbing gristle, nerved with wound, because they are quite connected within this part of music history. And then of course, of course, it has to be in a, in a video about uh, electronic music where I recommend you 10 artists, 10 albums to start with, Orteca. Of course, must is a must. Fantastic music all over. Maybe this is a bit out there. If, if, if you want to try out other Ortecas, uh, um, try out their first or their second release. It's, it's easier to get into, I think. But this Orteca sign is a breathtaking experience of sound and, and, and rhythm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And now let's dig into a Scottish duo. Although the title let it expect you otherwise, but, but these two guys are from, from Scotland talking about Boards of Canada. In this case, the music has the right to children album. I think it came out in 1999. Unbelievable, great cover, beautiful, beautiful music, uh, hip hop rhythms in a way, very psychedelic, dark, electronica, uh, hard to describe. You really need to, if you haven't already, you really need to listen a bit to dark, uh, to, to Boards of Canada. The, the, all the albums, it's not that much, I think it's five uh, regular albums or four, and uh, uh, they are available. These are classic, classic releases, which in a way belongs into every, every record collection. Boards of Canada. I think um, this album, um, Music Has the Right to Children, is a very good starting point if you want to dig into them. Fantastic. Another artist, Where I, I I listened so too so much I listened so much to to Biosphere, and then I said no oh, come on, I can't hear it anymore and then and then I listened to him for two years I didn't listen to him or one and a half years and then I I discovered him back and and fantastic Norwegian ambient dark ambient techno electronica. Biosphere, the, in this case the Shenzhou album, uh, uh, unbelievable stuff. Um, another uh, album I already showed and, and really can recommend to you from Biosphere is um, Substrata. Those are, you know, this is listen to a music and, and have, a, have a movie in your head. It's like uh, watching a movie that isn't in front of your eyes it's just a movie in your head. Incredible great stuff, incredible great art artist, this Biosphere, in this case his Shenzhou release. And then of course, last album for today, if you like this, uh, this format, I, I easily can do another 10 recommendations uh, 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 where you can start an electronica, electronic avant-garde uh, uh, vinyl collection. But, but he belongs in that part. I already showed this album, but I have to do it again because it's so outstanding, it's so gorgeous. Talking about, in this case, the new remaster, the 10th anniversary edition from Nicolas Jar, Space is Only Noise. They put it out now as a 45 RPM and the sound is uh, spectacular, spectacular release. Even if you don't like electronic that much, if you like very good sounding albums, then this is reason enough to get this remaster of 10th anniversary edition from, from Space is only noise. So, this was the last recommendation in this video. I hope you find one or two interesting releases I showed you to start your, your vinyl collection and for, for electronic releases. 
tell me in the comments below. Want to see more of this kind of stuff? Okay, thank you. See you.